The procedure for creating test reports in IBM S is described in this training video. A report is a collection of graphs and data as presented in the String Report tab or Cell History tab. Reports are generated when reviewing test results. Open an inventory overview and select your test results. When the test result window opens, select the String Report tab if you want to generate a string report. Or select the Cell History tab if you want to generate a cell report. To generate a string report, select the String Report tab. For a string of large size, you may need to generate several string reports by selecting different sections of the string. To select the section of the string, drag the mouse while holding down the left button. The selection will affect all graphs on the x-axis. For a string of small size, you can use the show all function to include all batteries in the graph. When you're satisfied with the organization of the graphs, click on the view report button. The print preview window opens. The different pages of the report can be selected from overview section on the left by clicking on the desired page. You can also use the top bar to navigate through the pages of the report. There are other functionalities in Print View View top bar. You can change the magnification by using a scroll down menu. The floppy icon allows saving of the report in PDF format. You can also configure the default printer or initiate the printing of the report on the default printer. The first page of the report summarizes the test configuration and other information used during the test session. If baseline or alarm levels were adjusted, the original value will be displayed in parentheses next to the adjusted value. The next page are collections of the graphs as displayed in the String Report tab. The last page reports the individual results table. Exploring the report in PDF format is a two-step process. First, indicate to IBMS where to save the document under what name. A default name is proposed based on the string name, time, and date of that dataset. When the selection is made, click on the Save button. On the next window, you can eventually modify the PDF configuration, but generally you will click directly to OK button to generate the document as is. To generate a cell report, go into the Cell History tab. Select the cell and the number of previous tests to be displayed. As for a string report, you can select the specific section of the battery evolution to be only reported. Or use the show all function. When the graphs are ready, click on a view report. A cell report is generated. The cell report includes all the graphs as presented in the cell history tabs. The interface for navigation, saving in PDF, or printing is the same as the one described for a string report. This concludes the training on generating report in IBM S. Please visit Global Energy Innovations website or contact Global Energy Innovations if you need further information. Thank you.